Today we're going to use the science inquiry process as we explore the properties of fabric. There's basically two categories of fabric, the natural fabrics which are made out of natural fibers and then synthetic fabrics which are made out of synthetic fibers. Now if we look at natural fabrics, we have two types of fabrics that are created using the natural fibers and one is the silk which is created by the silk worm, so that would be a natural fiber. We have wool which is created from the fleece of a wool-bearing animal, such as a ewe, a sheep, or a um, alpaca. Then we have plant-based uh, fabrics as well, cotton, and here's a cotton ball, the raw cotton. And then we have linen, which is also plant-based, and jute, also plant-based. So those are our natural fabrics created from animals or plants. And then we have our synthetics, which are created by man. We created them out of a petroleum-based product. We have polyester, 100% polyester, fleece, a fleece which is also polyester-based, and then a shirt weight polyester. And then we'll use a polyester blend, which is a combination of a synthetic fiber and a natural fiber. For our dyeing, we're going to use tea bags as a natural dye. We use two tea bags for every one cup of water. We'll place the water in the pot, bring it to a boil, and then once it's boiling, add the tea bags, let it steep for five minutes, and that'll get it to the color that we're looking for today. Once it's steeped, we'll take the tea bags out, measure the water into jars. For each jar, we'll place one of the types of fabric, and then when it comes time, we're going to let it sit for 15 minutes to end all fabrics for 15 minutes. And we'll take the fabric out of the hot tea using our tongs, rinse it out under cold water, and then observe how the different fabrics accepted the dye. Now let's see how our kids apply this. So if you guys want to divide up those fabrics and go ahead and pull off one piece from each of them, I'll start getting the dyes ready. By the way, this is... Uh, two tea bags for every one cup of water. So that's a lot of tea, isn't it? A little stronger than what you would actually drink. So you will need one jar of tea or glass bowl of tea per fabric, okay? Okay, so go ahead and put your fabrics in the tea. Make sure they get nice and wet. Now, do you think they're going to die instantly? No. How much time do you think we need to give it? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Okay, that's a good amount. We'll give them 15 minutes. Okay, girls, it's been 15 minutes. So what we'll do is take the fabric out and dip it into the water because we want to rinse out the excess tea. So we want to have the fabric cleaned out if you will squeeze out all the excess moisture, that will help too. Do you see a change happening in the fabric when you put it in the cold water? It's getting non-colored. Non-colored. What's happening to the dye? It's coming out. Is it turning out to be the color you thought? No. No? It's what, Lindsay, it is for you? Mm-hmm. Okay. That one is really orange, isn't it? Just like you said. You said it was going to be orange. Okay. So, Sarah, explain what you found. What you find down there? Well, my burlap, the original is like a whitish green color, and the one that's been dyed is like an orange brown color. And is that the color you thought it might turn out to be? Kind of. Kind of? Did you think it'd be what color? I thought it would be um, not as bright. Not as bright, okay. Good. And Emma, how about yours? Well, my wool did better than the fleece because this one's man-made, mm -hmm. and this one is from a plant or a sheep, sheep or a pocket. And as we've seen, usually the natural ones have all got more color okay. than all right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we, we dyed all these with tea and got the brown or an orangey brown color. What else could we use for dyeing pepper? Mm -hmm. Sarah? Very gold. Marigolds? What color do you think you'd get with marigolds? Yellow. A yellow, okay. Is there anything else besides plants that we could dye with? Yes, ma'am. Fruits, very good. Fruits, like blueberries. What color do you think you'd get with blueberries? Purple. Purple, okay. Well, thanks, girls. 
So to summarize the findings of our experiment, the children found that our natural fibers accept the dye much better than our synthetic fabrics. And the reason for that is our synthetic fabrics are a petroleum base, much like our water bottles. Can you imagine trying to dye a water bottle using natural dyes? This is just one experiment that can be done using fabrics and dyes. There's lots of other dyes that could be tried, lots of different kinds of experiments that you can do that's based on fabric. So design your own experiment and go out and have fun.